Hi, this is Daryl Webster here, and there's a new FAQ for the OneNote Class Notebook Creator, and a certain section in there that gathers a lot of interest. Some of us have been asking, how do I add additional teachers to a class notebook? And we have some steps about how to do this. They've been put together by Sebastian, Doug, and Man, Doug and Prebin, and I'm just going to expand on a few of their steps just to make it a little easier to manage. So we'll step through this now. Firstly, we're going to look at where the notebook is stored. We're going to be adjusting some of the permissions on the notebook itself. Now, when a new notebook is created using the class notebook creator app, it creates a new library. Um, I have renamed my library. If you notice down in the bottom right hand corner, I've got uh, a link through to it. And normally the library will be called edu OneNote app documents. So I've renamed it just so it makes it a little bit easier to read in, in our classroom. But this is where my notebooks are sitting. So within this new library that's created by the app, we have a course folder which reflects the name of the teacher that runs the tool. And this is because the permissions initially are set up around the person who runs the tool. And if we go into our course folder, then we'll see the notebooks itself. So this is where if we were creating an, a new notebook or a new course, we might have a number of notebooks there. So one of the first steps that we're asked to do is to share the notebook and some of us have tried to do this already and, and not quite got the results that we expect. We share the notebook and teachers can get access to a couple of sections in there but not necessarily to the student notebooks. So what I'm going to do is just put in my additional step to the FAQ instructions. Rather than adding an additional teacher one by one I'm going to use a group. And the, using groups within SharePoint is a great way to uh, make it easy to give access without having to go into these various settings and, and share notebooks individually again. So I've gone to my site settings and we'll look at my site permissions. In my site I've created unique permissions and this means that I can create different groups uh, from this level. Now what I might do is uh, further up in perhaps the science faculty and this is what I have done, I've created a group called science teachers. And so science teachers um, means that if I ever have a relieving teacher or, or someone who's going to help teach year 10 science, I can add them to this group. And what I'm going to do is I'll use that group for assigning permissions to the notebook and the sections within the notebook so that all I have to do is add an additional teacher to the group and they'll get the permissions that they need to to get into the notebook. So we'll have a look at that. So this next step um, does require uh, uh, being able to change some of the URL within the, the address bar. At the moment, if we clicked on the notebook, we're not going to go into seeing the folders within the notebook. We'll actually just open it in OneNote Online. What we need to do is, is see the contents of the notebook um, so that we can assign permissions to folders and, and files within that. So the instructions ask us to click into our address bar and you'll see that there's a great big long link there and we need to find this portion of the the URL called folder CTID and I've highlighted the AND and I need to delete everything including the AND folder CTID, everything along. Um, so one trick I can do that within Internet Explorer is I put my cursor where I need to delete from and I'm going to hold down control and hit delete and that will delete everything after the cursor. The next step we need to know is our our notebook name. So you notice mine is called Y10-Science. Now in the FAQ instructions um, you'll see that there's an example given there with spaces. I suggest that you find out the the name of your notebook and if it's got spaces in it it might have a percentage 20 sign to uh, reference perhaps that it's a URL or a name with a space in it. So I've put the name of my notebook and let's just see if that takes us into the contents of our notebook. Yes, so we should see folders and that's what we do see. So this is a, a, almost like a, a back room view of OneNote and the, the um, anatomy of the notebook. Um, the notebook itself, we've got our sections and then whenever there is a section group such as uh, the content library or collaboration space. If we look inside that, we'll see sections in there. Um, so my forces in motion section and the pages of the notebook are within this file. So what we're needing to do is the first step that we created, uh, or completed rather, um, we shared 
uh, with the teachers group, the science teachers group, and that gives us access to the uh, collaboration space and um, this general area within the notebook. But now we need to assign the permissions to the students' notebooks or the student sections of the notebooks. So this step here requires us to click on the ellipsis menu again, and this will essentially share it with all the science teachers. Again, I'm using a group. I'm not using an individual teacher because if I need to add additional teachers, I just add them to the group later on. So we'll look up science teachers again. And away it goes. And we'll show some options there. We don't need to send them an email again. We're just assigning the permissions and we're giving teachers the edit permission. And we'll share. Now if you do have a class of 30, 50, 100 students, you'll need to do this step for each student. I've just done this for Jack and just to repeat so that we know how to do it, we'll click on the ellipsis menu, share, and we'll drop in science teachers again. Again sharing it with a group, select the group, turn off the email invitation, don't want to be spamming them with invitations. And there we go. So we have now made the notebook available to any teacher within the science teachers group. And they'll be able to go in and see the student sections and edit it as they might need to in their role as a teacher, marking homework and um, checking their progress. So that's how you do it. Um, it is a, a little tricky at this stage, and I, I do believe that the one edu team will be working on a way to make this uh, simpler. But I do thank uh, the gentleman that shared that tip with us, and I hope too you see the value in perhaps using a group um, rather than adding individual teachers to each of the, the um, sections one by one. Because now that we've got the groups in place, this is what we can do. Let's say that I've got a relieving teacher, I can go now into my site settings and go into site permissions, or rather people in groups. We'll find the groups. So we've done that, so we're looking for science teachers. And now all I need to do is add additional teachers into this group and they'll get permissions to um, be a, a, a teacher essentially within the notebook. So thank you for watching, I hope it's been clear. I know there's been a, a bit of tricky uh, instruction as we adjusted the link and the URL, but do have a quick look at the FAQ again. Um, it's, it's really good and it'll help step through. So thank you for watching.